Hey guys, today we're going over five pro tips on how you can better manage your inventory and backpack in Arena Breakout. Stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you how using these tips, I was able to fit 95 items into this backpack that can only technically fit 50. So if you want that level of efficiency, make sure you pay attention. Our first tip is probably the simplest and one that many of you already know, but it's so good, it definitely is worth repeating. And that is, of course, rolling up backpacks and rigs. As you can see, this backpack is massive. However, upon rolling it up, it literally only takes up two slots. Now, a little bit more advanced, make sure you combine certain weapon parts to make more room or take certain weapons apart to make more room. For an example here, we've got this vector and its attachment. It takes up two by seven, that's 14 slots. However, by simply combining it, now it only takes up 10. On the contrary, however, this H416 takes up 12 slots and we can definitely dismantle this to take up fewer slots. If we remove this massive mag, we also take off this grip, watch what happens to the gun. Now, the actual gun itself went from taking up three by four when we took the mag off, then it went to 2x4, and then by simply just removing that grip, it's now a 1x4. So if we actually add up the total saved space, it went from 3x4 to 2x4. So we just saved 4 slots, and it really didn't cost us anything. The same goes for this AK. All you have to do simply is remove the mags, remove the grips, and it makes the actual gun go down to a 1x4 or a 1x5, thereby saving a lot of space. And in this example, we were able to save about two slots. And there are other guns that you can fold up the stocks to make them smaller, so on and so forth. Obviously, condensing down your inventory is one of the biggest things you can do because our stash can fill up very quickly, especially if you're good at the game. Number two, to maximize how much you can carry, always put rigs inside of your backpacks or other backpacks inside of your backpack. You'll be surprised at how much more space you can unlock by doing this. Now, why does this work? That's because many of these rigs actually take up less space than they can carry. So for example, if we expand this FA multi-rig, you'll notice that it has 12 slots. It's a three by four. However, upon further inspection, you'll notice that it actually has 18 slots worth of loot inside of it. So we could fit 18 items inside the rig, but inside of our backpack, it's only taking up 12. This is a key mechanic that can help you unlock a huge amount of carrying capacity for not as much space. On my website, arena-breakout.com, we have an entire section that breaks down all of the rigs, how big they are, and how much space there are inside of them. And we have other guides coming soon for backpacks and armored rigs as well. Number three, putting backpacks inside of other backpacks. Now, this one kind of sounds obvious, but when you think about it, I didn't quite realize why you would want to do this or that you could even do it. And it sounds goofy, but for example, this 926 backpack, we can literally put an entire other 926 backpack inside of it. Once we open the inner backpack, we unlock the full amount of inventory space. Now, I didn't really think about it. I'm like, why would you want to do this? I mean, backpacks are not cheap. And if you kill the guy who has the same backpack as you, you can take all the stuff out, put his backpack inside your backpack, and then fill that to get all of the loot. Now, this doesn't work with every backpack. With most backpacks, it does, but some backpacks have side pockets, top pockets. The inventory inside is segmented where the squares are not connected. This only works for backpacks where you can literally fit the entire backpack inside of itself. There needs to be space for it to fit. Now, a lot of the backpacks, they might take up a certain amount of space, but they hold more. So definitely look at not only how big the backpack is itself, but how much it can hold inside of it. Number four is stripping guns of their attachments to get as much money as possible as quickly as possible. You might be in a situation where you don't have a ton of time to loot and organizing your backpack to fit in a massive gun. Let's say, for example, you just killed someone and you got this beautiful M4 that's worth 70,000 Cohen. Now, what you can do, instead of trying to figure out how to fit a 12-slot gun, which is big and bulky, you can actually strip it down and get most of that value for fewer slots. For example, we can take off some of these attachments we have this four slot attachment here. We could take off the scope. We can take off the stock as well as this mag filled with bullets. And now, yeah, what's what we're left with is only worth 15,000. And what we were able to get were the valuable parts that add up to about 45,000 Cohen. And they're much easier to put into your backpack because they're smaller, only little two square items. At the end of the day, it's all about maximizing the amount of Cohen per square. So having something really big that might only be worth 10,000 might not be as valuable to you in the long run if you just picked up a bunch of small one square items that were worth like four or 5,000. 
For example, a bag of cement takes up many, many squares, but it's also really not worth that much. Or you could simply just get a really juicy scope that's two squares and worth way more. You see where I'm going? And last but not least, as you expand your stash with different boxes for weapons, ammo, meds, and whatnot, I'm here to tell you that you should really just prioritize the large e-boxes. You can get different containers from Avita, and some of them are nice, like food cases and whatnot. And what you'll find is you just don't have enough items to fill those specific boxes. For example, I actually got some extra large miscellaneous cases, and I found that those were useless. You can't put guns, you can't put ammo, meds, and really actual useful items like helmets inside of them. It's only for miscellaneous items like, you know, gold lions and vases and like little rich kind of knickknack things that you find. You're never going to have enough of those to fill an XL case unless you're hoarding them for some reason. I always just sell them and the actual items I want like guns and armor does not go in the XL miscellaneous case. What you want to get are the large e-boxes. These are the biggest boxes and they can hold everything. Let's check out my current stash and I'll tell you guys exactly why they're important. We have many large e-boxes and I could put anything in them that I want. I was not confined. So when you go into a quick organize, it will just fill out everything and you can have so much more stuff in your stash. Don't waste time with the ammo boxes. I mean, some of them are helpful. I do have a few ammo boxes. I filled them up, obviously. We have some armor cases. I have some armor there, meds. But like I said, the miscellaneous boxes, they look nice. Do not get them. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, I told you guys at the beginning of the video, I was able to get 95 items worth of gear into a backpack that supposedly can only hold 50. Here's exactly how we were able to accomplish that. I also filled it with toilet paper just so you guys can really see how much we could fit in here. Now, this raw backpack has a 5 by 7 section at the bottom. It has a 3 by 3 section at the top and two side pockets that are 3 by 1. So, this bottom section was big enough for an amp assault backpack. This backpack takes up 5 by 6, but you'll notice it actually holds 32. That is, inside it's a 4 by 8. Even though it looks like a 5 by 6, it's a 4 by 8 inside. So, if we go ahead and open this up, we actually were able to fit two FA Commander rigs and a simple backpack inside as well. Now, these FA Commander rigs, they are 3 by 4, that's 12, but they also hold 20. So each FA Commander rig is 20. Here's another one that's 40. We've got a simple backpack, but inside the simple backpack, we can fit this 926 lightweight rig as well as two other little slots. But what's crazy about the 926 lightweight rig, one of my favorite rigs, it's tiny, but it's six and it can hold eight. And how great is that? So we have eight inside of there with two. So that's technically 10 inside a backpack that only takes up eight. You can see where I'm going. We could be stacking this, calling it Tetris, as my friends will say. And that's just the Amp Assault backpack. We've got these side pockets and the rest of this bottom pocket that we filled with paper. Inside this canvas bag, which is a 3x3. Now, the canvas bag's not that great, but inside of it, it's just a 3x3. I mean, you could technically stack infinite canvas bags inside of themselves, I guess. We fit this RAP Simple Rig. It's a 9-square rig, but what's great about it is it actually holds 14. So if you add all of that up, the grand total was 75 rolls of toilet paper, as well as if we were to roll up all of the other rigs and backpacks, they take up an additional 20 slots worth of stash space just on their own rolled up. So if you add that up, that's 95 slots that I fit inside of this RAL backpack. Just using these simple mechanics, it can really help, and it's still something that I'm learning and mastering, uh, but some of my friends that have mastered this, they're consistently coming out of their raids with so much stuff and of course, they're really overweight. So if you're going to be stacking like this, you definitely need to bring some blue stims. But if you master this, you could be coming out of these raids with a ton of Cohen. So there you go. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Head on over to my website, arena-breakout.com for more guides and tips as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.